Don't explain your philosophy, embody it. Hardship often prepares an ordinary person for an extraordinary destiny. There is no easy way from the earth to the stars. Well, I must endure the presence of a few caterpillars if I wish to become acquainted with the butterflies. Every man is a creature of the age in which he lives, and few are able to raise themselves above their ideas of the time. You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. Life is never made unbearable by circumstances, but only by lack of meaning and purpose. The highest activity a human being can attain is learning for understanding, because to understand is to be free. Be like water making its way through cracks. Do not be assertive, but adjust to the object and you shall find a way around or through it. If nothing within you stays rigid, outward things will disclose themselves. Empty your mind, be formless, shapeless, like water. If you put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle and it becomes the bottle. You put it in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now water can flow or it can crash. Be water, my friend. I started my life with a single absolute, that the world was mine to shape in the image of my highest values and never to be given up to a lesser standard, no matter how long or hard the struggle. The flame that burns twice as bright burns half as long. Dwell on the beauty of life. Watch the stars and see yourself running with them. Those who educate children well are more to be honored than they who produce them. For these only gave them life, those the art of living well. The price good men pay for indifference to public affairs is to be ruled by evil men. It is easy in the world to live after the world's opinion. It is easy in solitude to live after our own. But the great man is he who in the midst of the crowd keeps with perfect sweetness the independence of solitude. It is one thing to show a man that he is in error, and another to put him in possession of truth. The only thing I know is that I know nothing. Never let your sense of morals prevent you from doing what is right. The happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts.
Freedom is secured not by the fulfilling of one's desires, but by the removal of desire. Everything we hear is an opinion, not a fact. Everything we see is a perspective, not the truth. The function of prayer is not to influence God, but rather to change the nature of the one who prays. The greater the difficulty, the more glory in surmounting it. Happiness is the highest good. The brave man is he who overcomes not only his enemies but his pleasures. Without music, life would be a mistake. Those who know do not speak, those who speak do not know. When you arise in the morning, think of what a privilege it is to be alive, to think, to enjoy, to love. Liberty consists in doing what one desires. Whereof one cannot speak, thereof one must be silent. Never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. Indeed, it is the only thing that ever has. One, remember to look up at the stars and not down at your feet. Two, never give up work. Work gives you meaning and purpose and life is empty without it. Three, if you are lucky enough to find love, remember it is there and don't throw it away. Simplicity, patience, compassion, these three are your greatest treasures. Simple in actions and thoughts, you return to the source of being. Patient with both friends and enemies, you accord with the way things are. Compassionate toward yourself, you reconcile all beings in the world. Good and evil, reward and punishment, are the only motives to a rational creature. I was within and without, simultaneously enchanted and repelled by the inexhaustible variety of life. All that is necessary for the triumph of evil is that good men do nothing. The reasonable man adapts himself to the world. The unreasonable one persists in trying to adapt the world to himself. Therefore all progress depends on the unreasonable man. We are what we repeatedly do. Excellence then is not an act but a habit. We are too weak to discover the truth by reason alone. Maybe everyone can live beyond what they're capable of.
Happiness lies in virtuous activity, and perfect happiness lies in the best activity which is contemplative. I cannot teach anybody anything. I can only make them think. Morality is not the doctrine of how we may make ourselves happy, but of how we may make ourselves worthy of happiness. We are addicted to our thoughts. We cannot change anything if we cannot change our thinking. It is wrong always, everywhere and for everyone, to believe anything upon insufficient evidence. To choose doubt as a philosophy of life is akin to choosing immobility as a means of transportation. I don't know why we are here, but I'm pretty sure it is not in order to enjoy ourselves. A concept is a brick. It can be used to build a courthouse of reason or it can be thrown through the window. One cannot conceive anything so strange and so implausible that it has not already been said by one philosopher or another. Life is really simple, but we insist on making it complicated. Even while they teach, men learn. Love is the extremely difficult realization that something other than oneself is real. Pleasure is the mother of philosophy. No, try not, do or do not, there is no try. Time is a game played beautifully by children. The mind is furnished with ideas by experience alone. This is my simple religion. No need for temples, no need for complicated philosophy. Your own mind, your own heart is the temple. Your philosophy is simple kindness. Man is condemned to be free. The journey is what brings us happiness, not the destination. Life must be understood backward, but it must be lived forward. The most beautiful experience we can have is the mysterious. It is the fundamental emotion that stands at the cradle of true art and true science. Man is a mystery. It needs to be unraveled. And if you spend your whole life unraveling it, don't say that you've wasted time. I'm studying that mystery because I want to be a human being.
A little philosophy inclineth man's mind to atheism, but depth in philosophy bringeth men's minds about to religion. Devotion to the truth is the hallmark of morality. There is no greater, nobler, more heroic form of devotion than the act of a man who assumes the responsibility of thinking. Things alter for the worse spontaneously, if they be not altered for the better designedly. To do as one would be done by, and to love one's neighbor as oneself, constitute the ideal perfection of utilitarian morality. Whatever is reasonable is true, and whatever is true is reasonable. You can discover more about a person in an hour of play than in a year of conversation. Science is organized knowledge. Wisdom is organized life. Don't only practice your art, but force your way into its secrets, for it and knowledge can raise men to the divine. That man is wisest who, like Socrates, realizes that his wisdom is worthless. The seed of suffering in you may be strong, but don't wait until you have no more suffering before allowing yourself to be happy. It may be important to great thinkers to examine the world, to explain and despise it, but I think it is only important to love the world, not to despise it, not for us to hate each other, but to be able to regard the world and ourselves and all beings with love, admiration and respect. If you would be a real seeker after truth, it is necessary that at least once in your life you doubt, as far as possible, all things. Learning does not make one learned. There are those who have knowledge and those who have understanding. The first requires memory and the second philosophy. I can control my passions and emotions if I can understand their nature. Don't just say you have read books. Show that through them you have learned to think better, to be a more discriminating and reflective person. Books are the training weights of the mind. They are very helpful but it would be a bad mistake to suppose that one has made progress simply by having internalized their contents. If men were born free, they would, so long as they remained free, form no conception of good and evil.
It is the power of the mind to be unconquerable. He who is unable to live in society, or who has no need because he is sufficient for himself, must be either a beast or a god. Even the finest sword plunged into salt water will eventually rust. If ignorance is bliss, there should be more happy people. Only one man ever understood me and he didn't understand me. Once upon a time, I dreamt I was a butterfly, fluttering hither and thither, to all intents and purposes, a butterfly. I was conscious only of my happiness as a butterfly, unaware that I was myself. Soon I awoke, and there I was, veritably myself again. Now I do not know whether I was then a man dreaming I was a butterfly, or whether I am now a butterfly, dreaming I am a man. It is undesirable to believe a proposition when there is no ground whatever for supposing it true. Physics isn't the most important thing, love is. I never found beauty in longing for the impossible and never found the possible to be beyond my reach. I assess the power of a will by how much resistance, pain, torture it endures and knows how to turn to its advantage. Metaphysics is a dark ocean, without shores or lighthouse, strewn with many a philosophic wreck. Only that day dawns to which we are awake. There is more day to dawn. The sun is but a morning star. <laughs> 